Hey, I'm John Connell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making amazing fried ice cream. So let's get started. First off, grab your favorite flavor or flavors of ice cream out of the freezer, and we're gonna scoop up some beautiful little balls of ice cream. Maybe like a two inch size ball. They cannot be too small. You need to have like that cold core in the middle so they don't melt when you deep fry them. Normally, you might like to have your ice cream kind of melted a little bit in the microwave before you enjoy it. But today, it'll behoove you to have cold ice cream and really put some effort into scooping. If you wanted to deep fry this, you could. It doesn't have to be a perfect ball, but I'm not gonna do that to you. We're gonna make it look pretty. Fried ice cream is amazing. You have a cold, creamy center, but on the outside, it's crunchy, warm, and gooey. Top it with some chocolate sauce, whipped cream, cherries, sprinkles, nuts. Ooh, it's good and it puts on quite a show. So if you wanna have some people in the kitchen and you're making dessert, this is a fun one. Cause you can do all the prep ahead of time, just deep fry them and decorate them and everyone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Scooping these onto like a little baking sheet that I covered with parchment paper. You can make as many of these as you want. You'll just have to scale up the uh, coverings that we're gonna add onto this. This scoop, by the way, is like magic. It's a zero all. And um, I'll put a link in the shopping carousel for you, but it is like a melting ice cream wonder. These guys look a little small. I'm actually gonna make them a bit bigger, scoop some up, and then just plunk it down like that. There we go. Your ice cream softens up really quickly, which is why we're gonna freeze it for 30 minutes before we go on to the next step. Fried ice cream is one of those dishes that's really popular at state fairs. They have everything amazing, like, oh, fried Oreos? Mwah. And you might think, oh, it's a dumb gimmick, but let me tell you, it's like an ice cream sundae, but even better. And yes, you could have three of these with some bananas for a, like an amazing fried banana split. You let me know if you try it out. Towards the end of your chill time, we're going to be cracking some eggs, but I only want the whites for this. The egg whites are the glue that'll hold our delicious cornflake-based coating on. You can save the yolks to make your omelet extra rich or to make some delicious caramel. One teaspoon of sugar. Give that a quick mix. Set that aside. And now for the actual coating, we're not gonna use flour or breadcrumbs. We're gonna use some delicious cornflakes. So you want about two cups. They need to be finely crushed. That can be however you want. It's a really fun project for kids with clean hands. I'm using cornflakes. You could use another similar cereal. It shouldn't be like super sugary, but it could be like a Rice Krispie situation, I think, or some chocolatey vibes could be there too. It's really up to you. So you could have fun with it and even have like a little cereal bar station set up for this. You let me know in the comments if there's a cereal you think would be perfect for this. Now I'm adding two teaspoons of sugar along with one teaspoon of cinnamon. I love the combination of cinnamon in here, but you could use any spice you enjoy. Just give that a nice mix. And just like that, we're ready to roll. Let's grab our ice cream out. Working quickly, we're gonna grab a scoop of ice cream, plop that into your cornflakes, give it a coat. And right now I'm actually gonna press it kind of back into a circle shape since it's flat on the bottom. Then this goes into your lightly sweetened egg whites. Just gonna turn that around and now it goes back into the cornflakes. The egg whites really help you hold on a lot more of the coating. And that's important because you don't wanna fry ice cream directly. You wanna fry the coating of the ice cream. That looks really nice. On to your baking sheet again. And we're gonna repeat that process. In case you're wondering, there is some debate about where this recipe came from, but a lot of people say it came from the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Ah, what a magical time to have fried ice cream. Once your ice cream balls are all coated, these need to go into the freezer for three hours or really up to three days. You could make this in advance for frying on demand, but you want them to be rock hard solid, just like if you were making a baked Alaska. You don't want to expose soft ice cream to heat. In the freezer, and we'll be right back. I made a whole batch ahead of time so I don't have to wait for that deep freeze. Before I fry them up, I want everything ready because it happens so quick. Starting with a batch of fresh whipped cream. Use it out of the bottle or can if you want to, but you know I love homemade whipped cream. A little bit of powdered sugar to about, oh, well, extra sweet. A splash of vanilla and we're just going to mix this up until it is nice, soft, and you know, whipped creamy.
This whips up so fast, and as a rule, always just give it a finish with your hand. Don't whip it until you think it's whipped. Whip it until you think it's almost whipped. Soft, beautiful peaks. Okay, I'm gonna pop this into a piping bag, grab some sprinkles, grab my cherries, grab the chocolate sauce, and we'll be ready to fry. Now we're adding three inches of oil into a small pot. It really should be very big because you're only gonna fry one, maybe two balls at a time. Place it over medium high heat, and we want this to come to 360. So have a thermometer at the ready. If you feel very confident with oil just being on warming up, you could do the prep steps and have all of your things set out while this warms. My oil's at 360. Now we're going to carefully plop these in one at a time and deep fry them for eight to 10 seconds. You'll see the color change and the ice cream will be perfectly soft and melty. Just make sure you have your plates, the whipped cream, anything you wanna serve this without the ready because they do not last long. If your oil doesn't completely cover your ice cream, just flip it over halfway through so it gets fried on both sides. And having a spider is so convenient for this. Tap it off so any excess oil recedes back into the pot. I'm gonna pop that onto a plate. You're basically serving things up as you make them and dishing them out. So there's no presentation of everything all at once. Just add a nice drizzle of this chocolate sauce on here. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And you can make your own chocolate ganache like I love doing, or just use some chocolate sauce from the store. I'm also gonna add a nice dollop of whipped cream right on top, which is the perfect place for a maraschino cherry to live. And if you want, you could even add a few sprinkles. Now it's ready to serve. Keep dishing these out as you fry and just have fun. This is like an amazing dessert. And once you sink your spoon into there, you're gonna see why these are so popular. This is one of those recipes that's like beyond easy and seems like it's a gimmick, but let me tell you, it is so good. Ice cream on the point of melting, covered in the crunchiest cinnamon sugar crunch topped with whipped cream and chocolate. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe, and if you like this video, check out my quick and easy playlist. 